Hello guys, this is Derek Bertubin, week three, MDF three, term 1310. And today we're going to talk about what we did this week. And what we did this week was actually uh, implement an action bar, navigation, and then also a widget. And um, so what I did is I went ahead and built on the app that I had um, this week or last week which was also an app that I did for um, Java 2 and uh, you know of course we're gonna just run through here all right great so we got that now um, as we view favorites from the action bar um, and you know, I just to show you I click this button here um, and let me see if I can and then you see the back arrow up there, but we're going to hold this for a second. There you go. And then we can see uh, that launch. Okay, cool. Up here we have the back arrow for favorites. And that brings us back to the actual, um, the main screen. Now... From here, we also got get weather, so we're going to grab the location, get weather. We're going to do the five-day forecast and get weather again. And so for the forecast, we also have this back button, basically, that does basically what a back button would do. It brings us back. Um, at the very top, we have an about. And when we bring the about up, um, and the... I don't know why that shows up like that, but um, I'll have to fix that. But basically, there we go. We got the about, and we can hit the back arrow and get back to the main screen. So that was the action bar. Now we're going to go ahead and exit back to the home, and we will go ahead and add a widget. The widget will be uh, this one here, Climate Cast. And as you can see, uh, the widget is resizable, um, although there is some skewing of the size or the, uh, you know, like, um, but it is resizable. All right, so that is that. And if we, it launches the intent or launches the activity, it takes a bit, um, but it does do it. There we go. And so, yeah, so that is that. Um, so cool. We have the action bar and the widget. And yeah. So that was my app. What would I would have done differently? Oh boy. Probably wouldn't have spent so much time on the action bar. Um, because I was trying to do something that didn't make sense in the in the grand scheme of things. So I guess understanding um Understanding the needs of the assignment first fully, I, I dismissed it as being pretty easy, and then I didn't really think out the design well, the implementation of the design, uh, being that we needed one action item and then also an overflow. I couldn't think of any other views that I would navigate to or how I'd navigate to them. Um, and then also a few things that could use more clarification. Um, I think after watching the videos, the widgets were cool, but there were some things in the widgets that I just in the videos that I weren't I wasn't able to find exactly what it was that was going to do what I needed it to do. Um, and as far as my idea for ADP two, I have thought of a an idea, and I wanted to actually build out the Android version of what I did for ADP uh, 1, which was a social project management app or, you know, project management application um, where I could delegate tasks to friends on Facebook, send them uh, within the app. So it would basically uh, authenticate through Parse, find out any users who are using the app, um, whether it be iOS or Android, and um, 
and then basically send a task through parse which is a cloud database and um, to a certain user and they could accept or deny it um, they could send it to somebody else but basically it's just a way to divvy up tasks I can assign them all to myself so and thus becomes a to-do list um, but yeah maybe or maybe not I'll have to talk to Mike about that but that's this week and um, thank you guys once again term 1310 MDF 3 week 3 action bars and widgets